Hi there, I'm Jeff Turin, and if you've watched the Safeguarding Parents Information Evening talk already, you'll know that I'm the designated safeguarding lead at Haggerston School, but also in my remit as an assistant head teacher, I have a tendency to punctuality. And today I'm going to talk to you about the link between outstanding attendance of punctuality to attainment, the importance of attendance of punctuality, and also any, any update that we need to know in relation to coronavirus and absence. So here on the screen, you will see the link between attendance and achievement. Often when we think of achievement and supporting achievement and gaining the top level outstanding grades, we think about intervention, we think about tuition, we think about self-study, self-quizzing, the ability to structure time, being organised. And although those things are really important, sometimes we can often forget the impact that attendance has on attainment. Here you can see the thresholds of attendance and the average grade received at GCSE. And this is real data. And although it's not promising that if you are in school 100% of the time, you're going to receive a grade seven, I think it's important to note the correlation between those who have attended school 100% of the time and the average grade that they have got at GCSE. It's not just about being in school 100% of the time. If your child is constantly late to school, but is here for the rest of the day, they will lose 16% of their lesson time over the week. This is then, over the course of a year, as if the student has 84% attendance. And therefore, we can go back to the grid and we can see the average grade that a student with 84% attendance would achieve. So it's not just about attending every day, it's about attending on time every day. And we like to place an emphasis on an excellent attendance punctuality because it's also a life skill for when students go into the wider world of work or university or high levels of study. It's really important that we highlight the importance that both count already. So with that, the minimising of loss of learning time, medical appointments, we would love for these not to occur during the school day. And if you can rearrange so that they do not occur during the school day, it will be greatly appreciated. If this is not possible because it's an emergency appointment or it's following a space of illnesses that you want to see, then please can you try to arrange those appointments for 4 p.m. so that the student can leave late into 3B and therefore there is less learning time missed as possible. Again, if the appointment is immovable and it's in the afternoon, please ensure your child attends in the morning. Or if your appointment is in the morning, please ensure your child attends for the rest of that school day. If it's in the middle of the day, please, and you can see my theme here, please make sure your child joins the school at the start of the school day, so they have learning contact time, goes to their appointment and then returns for the rest of the school day. The more time that we can have these students learning, the better. Holidays. We are not allowed to authorise any holidays in school time. If these holidays are taken, fines will follow. If you need to speak to a member of staff about your child's attendance or punctuality, please ring the school and speak to your pastoral team. This could be your tutors, assistant heads of year or heads of year, and they're there to support you to ensure that your child is able to be in school 100% of the time and on time 100% of the time. We have just come out of a pandemic whereby there was two lockdowns impacting on a child's contact time with teacher within in school and it's really important that we try to close those gaps now with high attendance and punctuality. And that's the point I'm making here in the sense that COVID-19 has required students to be in isolation, quarantine over a large period of time. And although we're still battling that with some students need to quarantine if testing positive, and I'll talk about that later, we need to make sure that we are in school as much as we possibly can. Whilst following the guidance that I'm going to highlight, 
But the, the importance is that young people are with their teachers, with members of staff who can support their learning and close gaps to enable them to still have the same trajectory that they were on before the pandemic. So here you know the symptoms. A new persistent continuous cough, a loss of taste or smell or a temperature. If your child has any of these symptoms, please call the school and notify the school the symptoms that your child has and the time that you're going to get a test. It's strongly advised, just move this, sorry. It is strongly advised that you get a test. Once you have received your test result, please inform the school as well as the school will then be able to update their coding. If your child is isolating due to symptoms, we will code them as X. This will not affect their attendance. Once a positive test is received, your child will be coded as I, which stands for illness, and that's following the government guidance. This may in fact impact their percentage, but you will not face action for this. So this is why I'm highlighting the importance of students being in school on time every day on the days that they can. Because COVID will impact their attendance at times if they do test positive, i.e. the 10 days of isolation. So we need to make sure we utilise as many days as we possibly can. If you are unsure about whether to send your child in relating to COVID-19, please speak to your child's head of year or assistant, or assistant head of year. They'll be able to advise you. The safety of students and staff is a priority of ours. And we want to make sure that we get it right and keep everybody safe. So please do call and liaise with them. But likewise, please liaise with them on any other attendance concerns as they will be able to help and support you. You saw in the Safeguard and Parents Information Talk highlighting resources of mental health being a pressing issue with young people following the pandemic and the amount of support that students get at Haggerson School is extensive and that can be triggered by attendance punctuality concerns as well. So please do seek that support. That's all from me today, highlighting the importance of attendance and punctuality. But the key message is really, are your student to be in school 100% of the time and on time 100% of the time so that we can really close those gaps and best support them. Thank you.